back to Satisfactory! Well, last time, we finally did it. We did everything that the space elevator was asking of us. At least as long as early access persists. So I'm expecting that when the real game comes out, we're going to have more to do there. But last time we uh, encountered a whole a load of issues, but we overcame every single one of them. Power, uh, the logistics, logistical nightmare of moving things from one base to another. Ah, oh, it was great. But there was one... One little thing that got left undone. I'll just look at this in the uh, in the sunlight. That is amazing. Over in the equipment workbench, we can make some little blade runners here. But unfortunately, we need to make this quick wire now. Quick wire is something that we have a little bit of here. It's made from this Caterium ore. And I thought that all we had was that. But one thing that I did not realize was that our scanner has had a little bit of an upgrade. You can see here, Caterium ore. We can do a little scan. And if we just kind of climb over here and hopefully get to Towards this ridge before it actually pings. Do you see that over there? That's not up on top of the cliffs. I I think that might be reachable. I've put together a little tractor full of a whole bunch of stuff that we can go exploring with. I've got some healing on me. I've got some like destructive bars. Look, all the rest is like kilometers away, but that one's relatively close. So let's uh, let's go for a look, shall we? Oh man, I, th I think it's up there. Let's do a little ping, shall we? Uh, my I thought I was under attack then. Yeah, look at that. It's beautifully up there. Now, we could build a ramp up. I'm going to see if there's any natural way up first. Probably uh, probably a smarter move uh, in terms of, like, you know, concrete use and stuff like that. I haven't got a great deal of concrete with me. I don't know why I didn't think that that would be a thing. How do you reckon we get over there? Maybe Oh, we've been around the back there. It's quite hostile. Uh, I'm going to try to check it out, though. going to check it out. All right, all right. I think I'm going to have to carry this across the water. I'm not sure if I can actually take it. I can actually take everything. All right, let's see what happens when we just swim this way. I see... Oh, it's really shallow. I probably could have just run. I was like, no, it's the top of a waterfall. It's going to have a, a fair bit of um, scouring taken through it, right? What is this place? I should probably... Oh, let's do this again. I should probably be armed, right? Let's let's go see if we got anything. Eighteen shots. Uh, 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 what what could go wrong? What could go look at him? I see it. Did you see it? I'm not sure what's over here. I'm not sure if it's anything I actually want to get involved in. Look at this. What is that? Is that coal? Are you coming for me? I think I think he might be. I am. I'm a little bit scared actually. If I'm to be honest with you. Plus there's that over there. Oh, I see you. All right, fight, fight, fight. Ah, uh, there's more of them. Uh, and then they're faster than me. That's not great. Uh, they are only one shot kills though, but I've got to learn to not Timmy all over the keyboard. All right, let's. Ah, uh, did again? Nope. Maybe I should wait for them to get close. I am panicking quite hard actually. Where is he? Is he gone? Is it? Ah oh, no! <laughs> all right, he's going off over that way. Let's try and bam. There we go. All right, cool. Whew, that, that was some effort right there. Got through many more bullets than I'd like to admit. <laughs> I still think it's up there that I want to go, though. All right, let's have a look at this. Look at Terium. I mean, like, that that's a very interesting place to go look, but that's not quite this, is it? May maybe later, when I feel a little bit more agile and maybe got some better, better equipment to attack with. Okay, we got some gas boys over there. I kind of don't want to go that way, if possible. Oh, I shot one, and now I can't see. Oh, there he is, look. Bam. Okay, so that's two shots. I could just get the last one. Did that not hit him? Well, I suppose hitting him in the face, not the best. Oh, oh no. Oh, we are in trouble. It's all right. Thankfully, you can deal with these things at the same time. Where? Ah. <laughs> I thought I picked up a whole bunch of nuts. Obviously, I can't look in my, uh, my inventory now. But when I was running along, I couldn't see them anywhere. All I saw was the bacon. I bet it stored it, like, in the top somewhere. Hmm. Well, thankfully, it's not a massively long run. Unfortunately, there's going to be some angry boys there. Well, listen. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is not where I was. Did, did, did my body get thrown over here? I don't know. I'm just going to accept this. Wow. Okay. I was expecting to have to run through there and try and, like, have to find stuff. I just kind of walked upon this and went, Wait. Okay. So where? There they are. Look at that. Okay. Brilliant. Um, I'm just going to just gonna eat these. Uh, so we need to get up there. This is not the way. This is dangerous. This is this is horrendous. Obviously from there? Question mark. Let's uh, the, uh, the water doesn't push me either. I was kind of expecting it to sw uh, wash me off the side. <clears throat> I also was 
having a look to see if there was anything down here worth looking at, any ore nodes, but it doesn't look like there is anything here. I did find a, a, a random iron deposit over there, but it's one of the ones, yeah, that's it right there. Uh, it's one of the ones that you end up like destroying completely when you mine it, so I, I decide just to leave it. All right, let's see what we can do here. Does this look like a good spot to go from? I feel like it. There's the the stator factory like the steel factory can we uh, we could get someone to drive up here turn around and then go that way let's do it why not what's the worst that could happen the worst that could happen is we're going for the wrong rock it's that rock over there right i don't know let's 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 double check that quickly oh yeah to totally was going for the wrong rock lol okay so this is the back edge of the steel factory oh look it's going to be coming from over this way in fact there's the ramp down so this is a big open space here let's try and go at it from here there's also some stuff to meet on the way but let's uh let's go with a sharp angle you know what once more just make sure we're going in the right direction perfect let's line that line up like that beautiful beautiful now do i need to build i do need to build one of these every time but that's okay because that's why we got them on the hot bar all right, made a little ramp across with the option to double it out, but are we in trouble? Is this is this what we want? We should. So oh, look at this! It's gold on the floor, so we can hand pick it here. Oh, look, there's no node on top, but that's cool. That means we can just start mining. Do I have? Hang about, let's have a look. I don't have a miner on me, but we can make an equipment workshop. I like just slap it down over there. Let's look at the area that we've got to play with as well, shall we? Uh, somewhere over here. Yeah, you know what? Let's slap the portable miner down first. Let's not be silly. Obviously totally going to put down a proper miner at some point, but never pass up an opportunity to watch this guy get deployed. Hey, you just got your... There he is. Hi, how's it going, buddy? Let's watch you get out and do your work. Like, right in the middle of the node. That's pretty good as well. Awesome. Oh, yeah. So what's up this rock face? A hard, hard jump. That's what's up this rock face. There's got to be a way up there, right? We've got to be able to do it somehow. Uh, let's try. I, I mean, we don't actually have to, but we'll be able to put down foundations if it is too difficult. Uh, looks like that might be the case. Oh, look, there's the gassy boy that nearly killed me earlier. Gassing away nicely. Okay, let's go with an eight and we'll pop it down over here. May, may have taken up the prime building space already, but let's continue looking around and see what we've got. I'm sure, yeah, I saw a power slug around somewhere. There's got to be, like, I can't take this out with my chisel. There's got to be a way of doing this. Uh, I mean, like, we can totally just, like, hacks it with a foundation. Uh, did you know that, if need be, you can stack it up? Oh, come on, I've done this before, obviously, because I'm recording and going, hey, you should look at this, guys. I'm not going to be able to jump high enough. Why can I not jump high enough? Well, that is crazy. I have lit. Oh, there, it turned blue. I, I was going to say, I've literally done this like hundreds of times. I don't know why it's suddenly being like, no, you're not allowed to place this. All right, fine. I'll just. I'll just put a ramp down instead. I have no idea what's going on with that. That's uh, that's crazy. That's crazy. Definitely something that used to work and now doesn't. Power slugs. Mm. There are some places that just seem to be begging for bridging, right? Well, that looks like player death right there let's go around and see if we can look down from the top i'm kind of expect oh i'm kind of expecting to get jumped at any moment but you know it's also kind of nice look more building space up here well i could definitely uh, make a oh look 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 at this i'll take some of this could definitely make a, a like a, a mountain based base if you see what i'm saying like use all the plateaus around a mountain and kind of like spiral your way up to i don't know maybe uh the, the space elevator on top that would be pretty cool look at the broken fragments yeah that that, that would work out pretty well uh, i'm wondering whether when the full game releases if the space elevator will continue taking stuff like at the end you know whether there'll, there'll be like a, an, an infinite research if you will you know keep doing this and your power gets better or something like that i'm not sure exactly what but you know it would seem a bit of a shame if the space elevator has a finite end point Ooh, look at you over there oh man i kind of want to drop down here but it looks like death it is death. Uh, I'm, I'm done for. But I wanted to see what's going on around here. Is it? Look, there's stuff down there. I, I definitely feel like I would die. What is that? 
Well, that's that's stuff I don't want to play with. That's that's what it is. So I've replaced the portable miner with a miner mark two, but of course we can't actually hook that up at the moment because we are topping right out here. Um, you can see we're pushing up to, so close and occasionally the uh, base does actually spike up and over the 750. Thankfully, it's not like a permanent thing. I could just throw the lever again and it's like, oh no, all those machines aren't doing stuff now and, and that works out pretty well. But one thing I do want to build, not a tractor, no, no, no. Down here, I want to throw a craft bench. Yes, just right over here. These are probably going to get ripped down once this starts being expanded into some sort of factory that's making quick wire to be shipped off via the trucks. But right now, we're going to kind of have to do it by hand. We can make these ingots, and this is going to be great, but this is going to take a while, so uh, I'll see you at the end of this. Okay, that was nice. We broke that down into individual, uh, into exact uh, numbers there. I was worried that we're going to end up with a little bit of ore clogging up our inventory. Looks like we are, however, going to end up with two quick wires clogging up our inventory. This is, uh, you know, it's, it's livable. I can deal with it. Modular frames and rotors go with that, and we plop it down. Oh, man, it's a bit of a long craft, but let's do it all the way. But there we go. Okay, cool. Equipment workshop. Uh, no, that's just reading the words on the screen. The Blade Runners are what we're after. An exoskeleton for your lower legs to assist your movement, allowing you to sprint faster and jump higher. Also dampens the impact of a landing. I assume that goes on my chest slot, because, you know, obviously I've got to pull other stuff. In my hand slot. Where's my gun? There it is. Beautiful, beautiful. So we need to go and... Oh, yeah, I can feel it already, actually. That is... Oh, look at that. Beautiful. I'm not sure if we can survive a fall. That is quite a fall. I'm not going to I'm not gonna risk it. I'm at uh, half health. It's, oh, it's, a, it's a dodgy world. It's a dodgy world. But you can see that I've got this power slug in my inventory. I am going to change this... Not from this one, but over here into a power shard. Uh, we are going to take this over towards the coal because... The power, it's spiking out and we need to deal with it, right? So, welcome to the Valley of Fogs and Mist. Yeah, I'll take some of those, thank you. And in fact, what I need to do is go around to the back of here, open up my truck, and I'm just going to deposit everything. Just bam. I think we need to completely overhaul this power system. I say completely overhaul. That's not quite right. I don't like these ones here. I don't like the... Uh the splitters down the middle here because they're like not letting me put foundations down and we're gonna go back and we're gonna go back engineer this entire system here because I've put down a second mark two miner on one of the other coal nodes on the other coal, coal node sorry excuse my misspeak there so that we can start getting 240 per minute out and now the backlog is of course in the distribution system so i'm going to go through and i'm going to make sure that we can get the coal wherever we need it to be as quick as we can do so and getting rid of all this is definitely paramount on that system the other thing that i want to do is create its own little power system i know that sounds a little bit crazy i'm actually even going to rip this down and turn this around is this where we want to be so hopefully everything's now going to shut down uh and so like this system i kind of like that that that's all right we can we can use this as an input to this side. I'm not overly fond of what's going on here, but that, that's fine. That's fine. That's no problem. Let's slap down another Mark II miner here. I'm actually going to turn it around and we'll put these two onto a similar system over here. This is maybe a little bit too close, actually, but we can work it out pretty well. Uh, so we're going to put a conveyor splitter there, and then this is just going to pull out of here and turn around this way somewhere maybe underneath that one if that's a thing um yeah okay okay we'll do this this one i think can go forwards and power this lot ahead of us and then we'll take this one down this way to power this side over here i also wanted to put these extra foundations in place can't afford oh you, you kidding me what concrete also look how full my inventory is of stuff already that's that's not taking long at all one of the main things that I wanted to do different for the power zone over here is to make these miners not so dependent on the main power grid. Uh, if the whole power grid shuts down, we, d we don't want these to shut down as well. We, we want other things to go on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw down a splitter really early on the main belt here uh, so that I can take this off and pop it into its own little self-contained power line here. Put that down. And then these will power this, and then as long as I've... I must have a little bit of coal on me, surely. As long as we can do that, this can now power away and provide power for these two. And these can just, like, churn out coal like there is no tomorrow. 
So at this point, you might be nice, might be like, that's very nice, Twitchy. You have uh, redone the distribution system, but you've not really increased the output, or have you? And I would agree with you there. But what we're going to do is we're going to come up to this uh, Mark II Minor. We're going to throw in one of these... No, not just one, but two, and even a third, and I'm not sure what my belts can actually keep up with here, so if we put this all the way up, uh, it's not going to tell me because we've literally just run out of a room, but if we go Q and I go to the logistics, hopefully the conveyor mark threes can keep up, uh, we, we can hope, we can hope, I've got a feeling that it's not going to be enough uh, there's enough space on the belt, but I need to expand this out even more. You can see that I'm going to flip this over that way, but then we can also build more in this space here. So that's my next task. So I've expanded out a little bit. I've improved the distribution network. If we have a look on this one, oh, what's that? A thousand megawatts? Does that mean I've got a gigawatt power supply here? Oh, I'm totally all about that. Uh, let's just jump up here. We can talk about what is actually going down. So the vast majority of this stuff, and I really do mean the vast majority, is coming out of this bad boy here. It'll tick over pretty quickly. As you can see, the clock speed of 250%. 300 coal per minute is being pumped. Uh, it's a little bit darker here than I would like. It's, it's always dark in the corner. I, I, I really do dislike that. Um, so you can see this belt comes out down there and goes towards its own little distribution center. We'll talk about what goes on down that way f later, but we've already talked about this little power network. I needed to put a second coal generator in here because it turns out that is pulling 52 megawatts all on its own, and this can only provide 50. I suppose I could have thrown an overclock in there as well, but, you know, I'll just do it with an extra, extra coal power plant. That's pretty cool. Uh, the other... Other miner, of course, goes out to the coal stop, uh, the truck stop, um, as always. But I also rearranged this little line of distribution here. Maybe got a little bit too close in places, but it is actually still consuming through. So that's all good. I thought I maybe would be able to fit another coal generator in here. Uh, uh, sorry, another row of coal generators. But that, that cliff wall is just too close. I obviously built this in the wrong place. That's, that's not great. Not amazing, but it's good. So, this is Conveyor Belt Mark III. It, it can transport like 300 and something items per minute. That's good because we're only moving 300. Comes into this splitter where it goes off into three directions. Now, this way and this way... Oh, turn too far. This way <laughs> currently uh, are active. This one is just ready for further expansion. The power network is pretty good. You just come along, slap down a power pole, connect it to the two, and then move on to the next one. So, that's like your serious power system, right? You've got one in, two going to power, and then one out, and that's all you're for, right? So that's pretty cool. That goes down each branch way. Uh, also goes down here, because we had to put these two in, we didn't have enough room to put all the other coal generators in. I suppose I could actually turn them around, pack them all in a little bit tighter. We you know we can get them at least this tight in here. So really, this one should be on this one. All right, it's no problem. I don't, I don't care. I don't care. Well, anyway, as I was saying, gigawatt power supply. Let's get back to that quick wire, shall we? So I've made the plateau a little bit more homely up here. I've put down a few foundations, moved the ramp over here to give us a little bit more room, opened up this space a little bit to put down a storage container, and I've made a four-line criterium little mining and production line here. One, one miner for uh, processing. I don't want the conveyor pole. I, I know how to work this game, honestly. So we're going to connect this together. So let's see how the power's doing, actually, whilst we're just here. Um, we are 500. I built this because we we're going over the top of 700 megawatts, but it turns out that's no longer a thing. I... I don't know exactly. Oh, the only thing that I've actually taken off the network is the miners for the coal. So, I don't know, maybe maybe things have backed up, maybe things have uh, slowed down. But here we go, the Caterium ore is flowing beautifully out of this Mark II, a miner, 240 per minute. Now, these consume at 60 per minute, that means we've got four being made, four lines of ingots. Uh, we produce 15 per minute, and wouldn't you know, the, con the constructors over here consume 15 per minute. I don't see much flowing out, there we go, it's, it's on the go right now. So, that's going to work out beautifully well, beautifully balanced. I would have put these constructors much closer to here. I would have put a, a, like a love line down here. But you can see we've got this boulder here and that boulder there. And man, they were awkward. I can't figure out any way of breaking them at the moment. I can't use the... Uh 
chainsaw on them. I can't, like, use one of these trees to break it down or anything like that. That is a, a massive unfortunate. Now, you might be like, Twitchy, weren't you supposed to be putting a truck stop here? And yeah, I kind of was until I realized that actually Caterium doesn't get used in any other, like, crafting thing. It's all just about making the Mark II power pole. Let's see, where are they? There they are. Uh, you can see you need five Caterium. I didn't actually... I don't know what they actually do. Do you know what they do? Let's let's find out. Mark II power pole. If I put that down and have a look at it, uh, let's see what connections it's got. So it's got six connections. Beautiful, beautiful. How far can we put it? Invalid aim location. That's pretty good. Floor too steep, but that's the wire. I mean, we can we can go distance. Okay, wire is too long. That's about the same. That's about the same. But with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. We made today a gigawatt. Gigawatt power facility. I'm going to have to go find out what that is about. Uh, that definitely should have been um, a thing. Uh, that definitely should have been a gigawatt. 1,000 megawatts. But no, 950. No idea what that's about. <laughs> But I will see you next time when we're going to continue on opening up new milestones, getting on with the space elevator, doing everything we can. The space uh, lift, sorry, escalator. Space escalator. That would be great. Could we, could we like, automate these ladders? That would be great. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!